I'm back. <laughs> I am back. I have returned for another top 10 video for your viewing pleasure. I bet you all been wondering, when is Indian Dave going to give us a new top 10? And that is today. I thought long and hard about a new top 10. And I decided to go with this one. I hope you enjoy. Number 10. Dressed fresh to death. Yes, you heard that correctly. Man or woman, dude or chick. This person is dressed to impress. The shoes match the pants. The pants match the shirt. The shirt goes with the earrings. They are going to the powwow looking good. They are looking dope. They are looking fresh. They are looking sick. Dressed fresh to death. Number nine, the hustler. <laughs> We've all seen this one at the powwow. They're the type of person who is slinging them CDs, slinging them earrings, probably slinging some bootleg. Hey, they're just out there trying to get that money. Help them out. They're probably trying to feed their kids. <laughs> Number eight, the tourist. Either as an individual or a family, they just want to check out the indigenous gathering of song and dance and probably buy some trinket from some vendor. And you guessed it, eat an Indian taco. <laughs> Number seven, the clothing designer. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, but honestly, this is just some individual who is selling t-shirts or hoodies or sweats with some catchy phrase or some indigenous picture silk screened onto the item somewhere. <laughs> Number six, the beater. This one is quite common at the powwow. You can tell who this person is because they have a comfortable spot, which is probably their chair or somewhere in the bleachers. Um, they have their beating tray on their lap and they have a project either big or small, but most likely a big project in hand, and they're just slaving away. Number five, the groupie. <laughs> More than likely a chick, but the groupie uh, follows their favorite dancer or their favorite drum group on the Powell Trail all season long. Uh, she will do her best to get into the mix of things, meaning she will give her favorite dancer water in between songs or she will back up sing her favorite drum when they're singing that one song that everybody loves. That's the groupie. <laughs> Number four, the baller. Either basketball or softball, slow pitch or fast pitch. Most likely gonna be slow pitch. Um, and again, most likely a dude. Um, but they only show up to the powwow because of the tournament. Um, will they come to the powwow? It all depends. 
It all depends if their team got put out the first round. And he will probably only check out the powwow for a couple few hours at best. But that's only because he's asking around where the party's going to be. <laughs> Number three, the powwow bum. Yes, I said it. The powwow bum. We all know this one. Chances are we're really good friends with one or we are closely related to one, either by blood or Indian way. This person has no car. They obviously have no job, but they are able, through hitchhiking, able to go to a powwow that is at least a day's ride from their home reserve or they haven't been back home in months. <laughs> Number two, the drum hopper. <laughs> uh, this individual is easy to spot at the powwow. Most likely they are not a part of any drum group, but they somehow always manage to sing every weekend. Um, this individual around the drum is easy to spot out because once he gets on a drum group for the weekend, um, he's usually war hooping throughout the entire song. <laughs> Number one, and you know what? This is probably, I'll just put, I'll just say this is probably the top spot on this list. The other nine, they were random. But number one is the celebrity. Yes, you heard that, the celebrity. They are mainly spotted at big powwows though, and usually only the ones in California. Um, whether they're a celebrity in fashion, in comedy, in movies, in politics, um, they're a celebrity. And you know what? They don't even have to be a native celebrity. But once that celebrity is spotted, you will hear the announcement over the speakers from the MC saying, and so all the way from Hollywood, California, we have some A-list or B-list celebrity, or if it's a native celebrity, and all the way from some reservation in Indian country, we have so-and-so. <laughs> well, there you have it, a new top 10. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you keep your eyes out for one of these 10. And you know what, help me out. If I missed any, if you wanna be a cool guy or cool chick, comment the ones I may have missed in the comments below. You're awesome. <laughs>